Lots has been happening with this colony, the Golden Tail Bull Ants. Some good news, some bad news. Really sad. All right, let's get into the video. Such a beautiful colony that I have here of these Golden Tail Bull Ants. Now that's the queen there, Queen Agena, as named by Happy Ant UK, and her colony is the Myrmidons. Now, it's such a beautiful uh, species, very vibrant with that golden tail there. Now, things have been developing in this colony, and I think what we'll do is we'll start with the good news. So, they're producing a lot of cocoons, which is great, and that, along with that comes some very interesting news. And here's one of them. The good news, alates, queen alates are now being produced in this colony, and here's one of them. Look at that, how nice it is to get a colony to this stage. Now, I'm not sure the age of this colony at all, but how beautiful to have these queen elates. And they'll need to leave the nest to mate with drones so that they can start uh, producing um, and starting new colonies, which is fantastic. Now, so far we only have queen elates. Um, there's no male drones. Uh, that have yet been produced so it'll be interesting to see if any of those turn up now the queen here we go the queen agena here we can see the size difference um, between a queen and a worker quite a big difference isn't there and how beautiful so very segmented bodies of the species and here you go you can just see the size look at the size of that queen now this is quite a small um, a species of bull ants though but still beautiful nonetheless Now it's essential to make sure that you're feeding your colony some protein so they can feed the larvae, very important for the brood phase. So here we can see some of the queen elates there, uh, just in the nest, none of them have left the nest yet. They're still just staying inside here. Now as soon as they move into the outside, then I know that they're ready to fly and I'll have to decide what to do there. I'd be interested to try and breed one of these with a um, drone that's been captured. So we've so far we've got about five or six queen elates, which is fantastic. Now this uh, beautiful nest, the Waitong nest by Oz Ants, um, I'll just put a link up the top there if you want to check them out, and in the description I've got a link to Ant Keeping Depot. So I've taken out one of the elates out of the uh, nest, and I've just got her hair separately so we can have a little bit of a closer look at her, see what she looks like as well, and yeah, I might see if I can send this away and um, breed it. With another male. So that's the good news. Now it's time for some really, really bad news. I am so sad. So I came to have a look one afternoon and I was confronted with what I've got here. Now originally I saw the queen in the outworld and she was just lying on a piece of paper next to some honey. I didn't know what was going on. A few minutes later um, I saw they had dragged her over to the entrance and she was just lying there, not moving at all. Now I tended to her a little bit just to see and she started moving a little bit and the workers dragged the queen back inside. Now I have no idea why the queen was outside the nest. Um, one thing to remember is I, I don't know the age of this queen in this colony either so maybe she died of old age. Maybe she was attacked and killed by the workers for some reason. I have no idea. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think may have happened. But she was in the outworld and queens do not go in the outworld. So very worried. So she was moving a little bit and I was just hoping the workers might be able to do something uh, with her. Here's some close up. They're just tending her, tending to her, licking over her wounds by the looks of it. Now she had a missing leg as well. So I don't know whether she was attacked and turned on by some of the workers. I don't know, and unfortunately I didn't get to see it happen. But you know what that means for this colony. No queen, no more eggs, no brood to come. I am devastated, and I'm sure you guys as well, are as well, that it's the end of Queen Agena. I'll still continue, though, to look after the colony and see if I can just keep them going and give them a nice life until they all slowly die out. 
and hopefully one of those queen elates I can send away and can uh, mate with a drone from another colony and we can at least continue the bloodline on, which would be fantastic. So I'm super devastated about this, guys. This is a beautiful colony. I really enjoyed watching it, spent a lot of time observing it and feeding it and tending to it, and they were going so well until all of a sudden, the queen just died. With the queen being inside the nest, there was not much I could do, but when I came back a little while later, they had dumped the body in the outworld. Here's Queen Agena, just lying in the outworld, looking very battered. Looks like missing some more legs now as well. So it's such a sad thing to happen. But as I said, I'll keep tending to this colony and I wanted to give you this update and at least we had some Queen Lates, which is fantastic. So that's really good to at least get a colony to that size and to be able to share that with you guys as well. Well, I'd just like to thank my Patreons for their fantastic support of the channel. This wouldn't be possible without you guys. So big thanks to Happy Ant UK. And I'm sorry, mate, it's really sad that the Queen has died, that you uh, got the naming rights on as being a Patreon. But yeah, thank you so much for your support. And also thanks to Medical Carcass 9 and William Bass and my other um, Patreon supporters as well. Thank you so much. If you would like to support the channel, head over to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Novo Ants, and you can uh, choose from the different levels and the different perks that come along with those different levels as well. So thank you very much. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's uh, some good news and some sad news, and yeah, some final shots here of Queen Agena. What a beautiful queen she was and a beautiful colony. And I'll give you an update on how they're going later on, just a colony. But yeah, sad, sad news, and I'm really devastated about this. But hopefully I'll be able to get another uh, large bull ant colony, and we'll be able to see the journey going. I've got many other colonies of bull ants, so I'll share those with you shortly as well. Please subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't. I'd really appreciate that, and give the video a thumbs up. You'll see here a video recommended for you at the top, and one that I've chosen for you that you might enjoy. And always remember... Happy ant keeping.